Hi, my name is McKinley, and in this video, I'm going to tell you about my three favorite reads of the week and my favorite cover of the week for the week of February 2nd, 2022. But before we do that, I want to wish everybody warm wishes for the uh, cold people out there. I see it on the news. I don't know what I would do in snow. I'm pretty happy to be out here in the sun. So now let's talk about my three favorite reads of the week and my favorite cover of the week. But before we do that, you know, I'm going to show you the haul and we're going to start off with Marvel, DC and Image. And then I'm going to show you the real indies. Like most weeks, I have no Marvel books. So let's skip straight to DC. And I got the new issue of Detective Comics, the new issue of Batman and rounding out DC, the first issue of Monkey Prince. Now let me show you what I picked up on Image. I got the new issue of Crossover. I guess they're all new issues, right? Spawn and Sweet Paprika. Can almost show the whole cover. There's a nipple that you can't show, so that's why it's got the thingy. Then I also got the 80 page Geiger anthology. And rounding out my image hall is the image timeline by Jim Valentino, which is basically just literally what it says. It's an image timeline. Now let's move on to the real indies and Basilisk and Chicken Devil. Now that you saw the haul, if there was anything that I missed that you got, let me know in the comments below. Now let's talk about my favorite cover of the week. I really enjoyed Jorge Molina's cover for Batman. I thought that one was pretty cool. But I also really liked Lee Bermejo's cover for Detective, like I usually do. He always turns in great covers. But for me, my cover of the week this week was Art Germ's cover for Monkey Prince. I thought that was a really cool cover. I, I like the Monkey Prince. I missed his debut, but so this is his, I guess, second debut, first solo, whatever. I enjoyed it. I liked the cover. Tell me what your favorite cover was in the comments below. Last week, I know a couple of you guys liked the Wonder Girl cover, while I preferred the Harley Quinn cover, the Derek 2 Harley Quinn cover, and that Wonder Girl cover was awesome, I agree. But for me, what detracted it was the coloring of Yada Floor. She's just too green, and that's why I didn't make it my cover of the week, but it was a totally awesome drawing. Just the coloring was a little bit off. And that has been my complaint with that series the entire time. I have not liked the coloring for Yada Floor, even on the inside pages. She just doesn't, I don't know. In the inside pages, she's just too red. And on that cover last week, she was just too green. But that's my two cents. So I appreciate hearing your two cents in the comments below. Now let's move on to my three favorite reads of the week. My third favorite book was almost Monkey Prince because I really did enjoy that book a lot. But my third favorite book this week was Chicken Devil. It had an ending that I was not expecting, which is the way the whole book has been going, all four issues. It had to come to an end, and I'm sad to see it go, but it was a good ending. Good four issues. Pick it up and trade if you can. Now let's move on to my second favorite read of the week, and that was the new issue of Batman. Great A story with the Abyss and uh, I guess it's Batman Inc., but it also had a really good B story. And you know a, B, a good B story can uh, do that for me. I like getting two stories in one book. Value for money. It's always about what gave me the most enjoyment that makes it my in my top three. So this one made it in my top three because it had a good A story and a good B story. Uh, it's culminating in the A story and the B story was a new start. I, What did they call it? A Gotham Academy adventure. So that was part one. I think it's just going to be two parts, but it was enjoyable. I liked the art and that's what made it my second favorite read of the week. It was almost my favorite read of the week. My favorite read of the week this week was the 80 page anthology for Geiger. You already know Geiger was one of the best books from last year. And they started off this year with an anthology of 
stories from the Geiger world, but they started off in the, I think it's the unnamed. Yeah, here's the timeline, the unnamed timeline, and it ends with Geiger over here, but it starts with Red Coat, and that's how they start this off with a 20 page story introducing the Red Coat character. And it was a good story, good art, very intriguing. I'm sorry that it's not coming out till later in 2022 because I can't wait to read it. This book was also rounded out with different stories from the Geiger world where stories from the casinos, basically, and the origin story of Geiger's two-headed dog. But the casino stories were really good. And one of them was even like, uh, kind of like a, EC Comics horror and even a uh, horror comic and it even had a character named Bernie so I think you know what that means and but all the stories were really, were really good and very exciting I liked seeing into the different casinos that make up the Las Vegas area that is in the Geiger world great collection of stories and at only $7.99, perfectly bound, great value for money book, in my opinion. A little expensive, $7.99, a lot more than just a single comic, but you get way more. You get like a lot of comic, 80 pages. They also have more from Junkyard Joe, which is another book that is going to be coming out later this year. All these books are coming out later. I can't wait for them. I wish they were coming out sooner. So that was my favorite book of the week, Geiger. 80 page anthology. Let me know what your favorite read of the week was in the comments below. I really appreciate you watching and making it to the end. Peace, love, bunny, and bear.